Welcome to another video and today I'm in Chilton and the first thing I'm confronted with is a very ugly library but uh, Chilton's not alone in that and a very modern looking memorial it says this memorial is dedicated to the men and women of Chilton and Windleston who gave their lives while serving their country in conflict the Wheat Sheaf pub over there and uh, local Sainsbury's over there and another memorial on the side of this house or in the middle of this house should I say it says that uh, these cottages were erected in 1924 in memory of those from Chilton Colliery who gave their lives in the Great War okay nice it's quite fitting that and the rather futuristic pharmacy and healthcare centre over there well Chilton is quite conveniently located really it's near Ferry Hill, Bishop Auckland, Spennymoor, Sedgefield, and has a population of about 3,800. Chop suey house there, and a salon, and uh, looks like a flower shop over there, I think. September flower, and Chilton Aquatics, where you get your cold water fish, and Chilton Chippy, where you get your battered fish. And this is St. Aidan's Church, and to the right, Rather different style of building is St. Aidan's Church Hall. So here's a couple of uh, coal wagons. One that says Chilton 1872 to 1966, which must represent one of the collieries, and Windleston 1874 to 1924. So that building must have been a church at some point, but it's not anymore. This is uh, an incredible street, which is uh, looks like it's been refurbished, redone. The bricks very new, and the terraced houses that just go on for quite some way. So Chilton is a town, got its town status in the year 2000, even though it does lack some of the amenities and facilities which would represent it as a town. So if you're thinking to yourself, how much is it to live? in Chilton. Well, at the bottom end, near to where we are walking then with those terraced houses, some of those are on for auction for about 15 to 18,000. But you can buy other properties from about 120, 130 in other parts of the village, right up to about 240 by the looks. I like the old gates coming into this recreation area. There's a crown green bowling area here and a pavilion and um, a couple of tennis courts as well. Now I saw this from the main road as I came in and uh, it's huge. It says it's a Veolia. I looked it up but it just said it's a power station and I don't know anything more about it than that. So behind these terrace houses here, you've got a number of kind of bungalows here and uh, which looks like kind of 1950s ex-council houses as well. So kind of mixed residential, like a lot of places. So most of these terrace houses are kind of all right really, but there are a few that are not. And this is uh, fallen into disrepair quite significantly. Got a cafe over there and uh, the post office. It's all Ford Escort, Mark II, I think. Struck me that one, and then there's a concert hall there and the Chilton Community Sports and Social Club. It says Chapelton House on this, so I don't know whether it's a private residence or it is indeed a chapel, but it looks like a house to me. That's the Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Well, there you go, that's uh, that's Chilton. There's not really much to it, to be honest. Um, I'm surprised it is a town. It is quite small. It's got a few shops, but not that many. I've seen the bus services look okay. Seems to be buses going to Darlington, Durham, Spennymoor. Um, it's quite close to a lot of neighboring towns as well, which is good. Um, would I live in Chilton? 
I'm not sure if I would, to be honest. Um, I'm going to give it 6 out of 10.